right, and we are live. Lord Cognito here, Iron Lord Podcast, lordsofgaming.net. Who is this fine gentleman we have in the realm of PAX East today? Yeah, I'm, I'm Brian Heemskirk. I'm the art director of Massive Damage Games, mm-hmm. um, and we're here showing Farah the Sundered Tribes. Farah the Sundered Tribes. Yeah. A lot of interest in this by the lords. What would you say for a person that has no idea as far as the genre, the game type, what type of game is Farah? Uh, it's a, like a bit of survival mixed with Monster Hunter and Village Building. Mm-hmm. So you build a village. I, the way I personally describe it is, right. um, for people who know uh, Ghibli films, that yeah. it's like building House Moon Castle while exploring spirit, uh, Princess Mononoke. It's kind of okay, how I like it. I like the vibe. I like the vibe. That's, that's <laughs> the way I like to think about it. No question. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. As far as where are we in, in the game at this point? This is just the, the beginning mm-hmm. section. You have a village. It's trying to teach you the mechanics so right. you can basically just learn grapple and gliding, alternating between the two. Nice. To, you, can, you can stay in the air basically as long as you want, as long as you're alternating between gliding and grappling. Right. Just waiting until the meter depletes on, or goes, mm. goes back on one. So you can see the green meter goes down, and then yes. the blue meter goes down on the gl- uh, grappling, and then you can glide until it comes back. Nice. So it doesn't take particularly long, but it encourages alternating your movement right. in the air. So that movement in the air, keeping that momentum, yep. that's part of the mechanic. So this is right here is your yep. village, um, like your initial tree for mm-hmm. village quests. So you okay. just push A on the first yep. one here. Mm-hmm. And while you're in the menu, might as well go uh, left bumper to equipment and switch over to your hammer because you're going to need it in about four seconds anyways. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And now you can dive off that board and glide to the world below because oh, you started the quest for finding some resources. So you dive off and you look down as you go let's and go. you're going to be aiming towards that lighty area mm-hmm. over there. Like it, man. Love it. Loving that. Tip down. Tip down. Tip down. Tip down. Tip down the animal stick. There you go. There you go. No, it's plane control. Because <laughs> you're plane flying. Plane. <laughs> so you're aiming for this pile of rocks right here. That little gray pile next to the spirits. We're getting out. We're getting out gliding. Not to the right. To the right. Not the light. That's, we fixed that in the latest build, but it's not here yet. Left. Left a bit. Those creatures are around that tiny pile of rocks. Smash that up. So in a lot of survival games, you're going to spend a whole bunch of time um, like carrying resources, getting over encumbered, and waiting. But what you do, don't pick it up. Just keep smashing for a bit. Yeah, smash them. You can use the button in front to do regular hits rather than the big one. Oh, yeah, that's the big bumper. one. Nice. So you smash them up. Now you got a bunch of rocks there. Push down on the D-pad to spawn a portal. And okay. those will all get oh. sucked in. And collecting more of the resources. Yeah, I'm about this. And now, that, as long as the portal's still there, every rock that breaks up is should instantly get brought in. I need this in all my resource gathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> I 100% this, need this. So now the rocks are going into the portal. You got enough rocks. Now the next quest is to find some wood here. So if you just click start on the D-pad, uh, sorry, on the controller, and then you go to your axe. You push A to equip it. Sorry, yeah, analog stick. Probably have to move it up a bit. Try again. There you go. So now you got the axe equipped and you're looking for some trees. You can go follow the path over there, but as soon as you start finding, all of the trees will be cuttable. Yeah. Currently, it's like one or two of the models are cuttable. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll guide you a bit in that to yeah. speed up the process. Cool. So as far as like the, the, the narrative, you know, yes. what, what, what's whole, Ferris' whole vibe? Like, what's the whole story beat? Okay, so the idea is you have this ancient world, mm-hmm. right? And you don't understand why what happened happened. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of like world lore built into mm-hmm. the environment, right. and you're trying to understand what is the civilization that doesn't exist anymore, what happened, mm-hmm. right? And maybe you can get some like stasis villagers from the old times mm-hmm. to go into your village. If you push the analog stick, you can lock on, they, nice. and then it makes it easier to hit these nice. guys because otherwise it's difficult to hit the small guys. Mm-hmm. The big guys are easy, but the small guys you can't hit the big trees. These ones over here are good right now. And then you just suck them into a portal when you're ready. Um, so yeah, so you have this ancient civilization. Mm-hmm. Tribes haven't been able to be particularly big in this world mm-hmm. because there are giant monsters roaming around mm-hmm. that are stopping you from basically being gotcha. able to... Speaking of, speaking of giant monsters, I see some flying creatures. There's a big one over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's big sky whales. Okay. You can just glide, glide and grapple with them. Okay. But this, they're fighting one of the giant monsters over here. Gotcha. Um, so, anyways, mm-hmm. you have big monsters to hunt. It's a little bit more like, I guess, ethical hunting to some extent. <laughs> so instead of you know, monster hunter, you kill like 40 creatures to make your pants, right? In this game, you have to feed your village with it. Right. You build armor sets okay. with it. There's much more utilization. Mm-hmm. When you kill a monster in this game, you actually are supposed to build mm-hmm. a like infrastructure and get your villagers to oh, okay. get the resources off of them rather than that just, is. you know, hack at them a little bit yeah. yourself. I-, I like the terminology ethical hunting. I'm about that. Yeah, well, a little bit more in that sense, right? You want to be using as much of it 
animals as creatures as possible and, and things like that. No so, doubt, no doubt. No, this is cool, this is cool. So again, as far as like development, how long has Ferrer been in development? Uh, it, we've been in developing, I think, probably two full years. Okay. Yeah, getting, you know, uh, tools, resources, mm -hmm. getting set up in Unreal Engine. Nice, Unreal. Um, so we're yeah. Unreal 4, Unreal 5? Unreal 5. Nice. So we're using Nanite specifically for world density. Okay. Right, and we had to custom, uh, we custom modified Lumen right. for more of a stylized art style. Because mm. if you use Lumen outright, it kind of, it makes things look really weird if you try to go right. stylized. So we had to do a bunch of things, clamp down lighting in uh, certain ways on yeah. big characters in the world to mm -hmm. make it uh, appear more stylized. Yeah, well, we definitely like the, like I said, the, the, the choice of the art style that you guys have gone for. Obviously, you have a big part in that. Yeah. What were some of your inspirations as far as that art style? Uh, you know, I was. I think we were trying to find like a mix between right. our team's got. We were based in Toronto, but we have, you know, people of all different groups and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I think we were trying to mix somewhere between like an Eastern and Western aesthetic. Yes. It was my goal. You know, have Breath of the Wild a, a little bit more like mm -hmm. arcane in the mix okay. too. Find okay. the balance all between right, the two, right? right? Like. I got you. Get a, a little bit more of uh, Eastern slash Western no, influences no. mixed together. More flame on the gameplay. How we feeling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your question? Uh, so for the shopping, this feels a little. Yeah. Weirdly, like it's a little. Mm -hmm. Bumper. Yeah, you stop bumper. Yeah, there you go. Nice, cool, cool. Yeah, as far as like, uh, I'm sorry, I'll let you finish. Yeah. You know what I was just gonna say as far as so now. One thing about these style of games for me, I, I'm a person that needs my hand held. Okay. Right? So what I what I like off the beginning is the clear objectives of what to do. Yes. Next. You know what I mean? So what are, what are your, some of your goals as far as like onboarding the player? Yeah. So mm. you have uh, quest. You you have player incentive and quest incentive. So when you start the game, your villagers are going to be asking for things, right? You'll have to build them homes. So oh. if you play the tutorial, which isn't in this particular build, right. you find the flying island. The flying island rises up, and you pulling your villagers to this island and building up a safe haven there gotcha. for them. Mm -hmm. So you're building up those. So as you pull villagers in, they need they need homes, they need food, things like that. So that's part of the incentive loop is doing that. They can also, they will be able to help you with hunting. They'll be right. able to help you um, gathering resources from creatures and all of those things. So it's going to be basically the village loop is going to force progression on the world. On the world. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. And as far as like, um, would you say like gameplay house? This looks like a very immersive world. Like there's a yes. lot going on. You know, for a person who is this one of those games that you could live in it for hundreds of hours or are you going for a more streamlined, maybe like 20 to 30 gameplay loop as far um, as uh, the time the time commitment to the game? I, I mean, we're obviously aiming for as many as possible and, you know, budget constraints, things like that will definitely determine how long you can play the game for, gotcha. right? Like, uh, it would be great I'm if we had, it would be great if you had, <laughs> I could show you some, I'm pretty good at it, yeah. so if you want to see some, let's some advanced, let's advanced, some advanced level. If you want yeah. to get, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. I'm pretty, I'm pretty solid at it, so <laughs> I can show, um, at, like, like, when it comes to surviving, is there like a like an element of like continuously eating? Yes. Uh, so if you go up here, you'll see there's meal planning, and you need to eat. You need to feed your villagers. So there's a product of it where you're maintaining your village, and then their essentially morale, how they function, who's good at doing specific things. Are you have troughs. Yeah. So you have stockpiles of assets. You have people. So you have your tribe. And whenever you do things, instead of like if you beat a boss and beat a monster. Um, if you beat a monster, you have to call your villagers down to carve it up, and you build stations around them to do that as well. Um, some of this Whoa. stuff is kind of early. so. You see the Souls Gate as you go into it. Uh -oh. Now we've triggered a boss fight. Yeah, we got problems. I uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna do on it. I feel more like the hammer right now, so I'm gonna switch to the hammer. Um, and I'm going to grapple and hopefully smack this creature up real good. Woo! Oh, nice. Get off. Got a lot of energy. Frigolith. Frigolith, yeah. yeah. Frig 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 if you don't mind me asking you another question. Yeah, as many as you while want. While you're, you know, working on this beast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I'm kind of curious as to, like, um, 
Um, is this sing is this like a single base that you're building up, or can you build multiple bases across the land it's to be a, to, to be like, hey, I want to have this stone base, I want to have this metal base. I'm we gonna we ain't gonna say nothing about what happened to the developer, but continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gonna act like that ain't happened. Continue. I told you I wanted to switch the armor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's all good. It's all good. No, finish your question, Ed. I'm but, sorry. But did you hear what I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you were asking is, can you? I mean, primarily right now you're building this base. And one of the things is as you kill monsters, they will eventually respawn. So you build like temporary bases around them to extract resources from them. Mm -hmm. And then when, and you won't be able to get access to all the best resources people will want all the time. So there's incentive to go back and build things down in the world, especially in terms of extracting resources and things like that. There might be opportunity. So uh, even right now we have the architect mode and you can build, you can custom build your own yeah. location. You can okay. put the armor on if you want. Okay. You want yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm just gonna unlock all resources. No, okay, let's get the resources. Let's get the developer resources popping. We will not show the keys. We will not show the keys to the kingdom, all right? Don't you worry about what's going on right now. We need to <laughs> These guys were the massive damage in the building. Salute, Sarah, no doubt. But yeah, these are your style of games, about yeah, him. Hey, what happens in fair? <laughs> you know, no, so you, you, would you consider this in the in the arc vein, or what, what would you consider this? I'm I, I'm looking closely at okay. this. Okay, as an arc fan. Very closely at this. As an arc fan, as a fan that recently got heavy in the power. Got it. And, okay. and also versus like ninety percent. Got it. Been so like Wonder Woman. So like, no I, you know, I'm trying to get my swing. I feel, on. I feel. I feel. That's so we armoring up right now. Yeah, so um, basically the way that it works is you can see for each one of the creatures, there's an armor set mm -hmm. that you will eventually be able to collect. Mm -hmm. And so so we can pick, so for instance, we just set uh, a high toxu armor set and a high toxu axe. Mm -hmm. We can also switch if we want to switch to a spear. I uh, This is just debug mode, but I can show what you would gradually be able to unlock in the game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, early access, hopefully this summer sometime, you'll be able to play with your friends. No question. Uh, have some fun with that. And if you can support the game, where can they go to get the Please information? Please wishlist us on Steam. Steam? Okay. Uh, obviously, Google the game. Mm -hmm. Check out Massive Damage. No games doubt. online. Massive Damage, you already know, in the building. Absolute pleasure to cover Farrah, the Sunday Tribes. A lot of potential here. Love the grind, love the combat. Thank you so much for your time. No, and absolute pleasure. pleasure, man. It's a pleasure. Farrah in the building.